Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today's a good day. We're gonna be taking uh, taking ownership of our new bull. First thing we gotta do before they get here is go through the corral and make sure all the gates are secure. So let me show you that. Okay, so this gate right here is actually where we're gonna unload him. And we're gonna, we're gonna let him hang out here for a, a few weeks in this corral, just to make sure he doesn't uh, try and do anything silly. So the corral's secure. It's got six and a half foot pipe fencing all the way around it. Uh, steel gates. He's not getting out of there. If you guys would like more of a breakdown of how we did our corral and kind of the size of it and everything, just uh, drop a comment and let me know. Or if you'd like me to do a review on this uh, AeroQuip squeeze chute, I can do a review on it. It is the 74 series key catch.
well as you can see the bull's here he's delivered we got him some feed out he's ate he's milling around some of the green grass we got left we did get all the vet paperwork for him for his shots and uh semen tests and everything everything looked good for him so we're gonna go ahead and leave him here in the corral and uh just kind of let him get acclimated here we'll keep feeding him every day uh, he should turn out pretty good he's a uh, 26 months old a uh, purebred limousine we ran limousine on this uh, farm for well, before i was born we've had limousines on this property so now we have uh all but two mama cows are limousine. There's two beef masters and the rest of them are all limousine. So they're all up here at the gate. I'll show you that. They're all kind of staring at him. They're uh, ready to meet him. All the mama cows are out, out in that pasture. And Mr. Bull Bull, he's a pretty good sized bull. He's uh, 26 months old. He should be a good producer for a while for us for, I don't know, at least the next four years probably so he's got that limousine look to him not a bad looking bull so we're going to kind of leave him alone for a few days week or so leave him up in this corral he's got more than enough room in this corral So far, he's pretty gentle and pretty tame. Uh, I mean, I was able to walk out here and he unloaded just fine. Uh, should turn out to be a good bull. Kind of crazy we have some uh, green still in mid-no mid-December actually still a lot of the clovers popping up top of that pipe right there is about six foot three inches right over in that spot so you can see how big he is He's got grain, water, bale of hay. He should be set for a little while. All the mama cows out there, they're interested in him. Curious probably more than anything. But this spring, or early summer, he'll get turned out with them. We try to uh, spring calf everything. Uh, for us, it just works better. Used to, we did fall calving, but we found it's more difficult to get them calves through the uh, winter time than it is with uh, spring calving. So anyways, we're going to leave him alone, let him be for a little while. He's got plenty of food and water. We'll keep feeding him every day, keep the water full, make sure he's got plenty of hay to eat, and just kind of let him let him get used to the, to the area, to the new move. Uh, so far, it doesn't seem to be bothering. He's still just kind of grazing around. Uh, eating eating what what little bit of green grass and stuff we got left so anyways if you like this video or want to follow up to it see how he's doing here in a little while let me know and uh we'll see you guys in the next one thanks